Well, good morning, yeah, we, you are back, you are back with George, yes, it's a Tuesday morning, and you are at Growth Point with George, growing as you're going through life, and we've been speaking about Watchmen, now, come on, just a few more days, and I'm going to help you, trusting that I have been helping you to become the Watchman that God desires you to be, because God is looking for Watchmen to stay alert, because He's coming as soon, how do we know this? Well, my Bible says that when we see the troubles that are happening around the world today, as they are unfolding and they are rapidly unfolding, we know that Jesus Christ is soon to return. Now, one of the things that, that again, uh, uh, we see coming coming to the forefront is this false teachers. <laughs> Preachers that are not preaching the truth of the word of God. They are there Again, they are not dressed in, in, in the, 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 the proper garment that God has given to them. But now they are undercover again, taking from people instead of giving the glory to God. They take the glory upon themselves. Now, the greatest danger I believe in the church today is that Christians lack discernment. <laughs> Yeah, they lack discernment. Why? Because they are running after the gifts of men, not God. Not his gifting, but men's gifting. And this is dangerous because we know that the Bible tells us in the last days there will be false teachers. There will be false Christ coming to play and into the full play of what is about to take place. Again, taking men away from the truth of the word of God. I want to say to you, if your preacher is not preaching from the word of God, then you need to find a preacher who is preaching from the Word of God. Because if he's preaching from the Word of God, then he's going to stay in the truth of the Word of God and not try and bring his own understanding of what is happening or his own uh, 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 messages of, uh, uh, again, how to, to overcome certain things in your own strength. You see, we cannot live our Christianity in our own strength. This is why we have grace. Grace is not what you are able to do, but what Christ has already done for you. And so the serpent, I believe, has not lost his ability in deceiving men and women who are found in a place of safety. We, we, we want to be in a place of safety. And how do I find my, my, my safety net again? Being dependent upon Holy Spirit, whom Jesus said, I will give to you, I will send to you as a gift to help you during these troubled times. And we are living in troubled times. Adam was in the most secure environment, and yet he was deceived. Why? Because he dropped his God. And again, we must stay alert. Yes, we must uh, uh, really ask God, Holy Spirit of God to keep us at our post constantly so that we will not allow the enemy to infiltrate into our lives. Now, 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says this, be alert and of sober mind. Come on, don't allow your mind to wander away from the truth of the Word of God. Don't allow your mind to run after men, but then you need to run after God and allow Holy Spirit of God to be, to be the one that will guide you and lead you. Because this is what he says. Listen to what Peter says. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. This is what he wants to do. He wants to devour. Again, I come back to that. What does the enemy want to do? He wants to rob. What does he want to do? He wants to kill. What does he want to do? He wants to destroy. This is what the enemy does. You see, he's no longer, listen, he's no longer an undercover serpent he now goes around like a roaring lion and now my bible says that there is only one true lion and that is lion of judah and his name is jesus christ so don't be fooled by those in tailor-made suits who float onto the stage surrounded by bodyguards who can preach up a storm no 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 check them out these many of these are wolves dressed in sheep's clothes. They are undercover serpents. As watchmen, we are living in the last days. Stay alert. Patience is one of the most important fruits of the fruit of the Spirit that needs to be evident within our lives in this end time church that we belong to.